I don't know a ton about the history of anime. I don't know a lot about how animation styles work or really what the what separates good from bad other than from what I can see with my eyes. However, what I do have is an abundance of spare time. So much so that I've been able to watch almost every single episode uh, of every new show that has aired this season so far. There's still a few that haven't. There's still a few that come through this week. But I thought it'd be fun with the amount of time. I Oh, thank you so much. Um, I thought it'd be fun with the amount of time that I've put in to go through and um, kind of rate how first impressions have been so far. And honestly, it seems like a promising season. Not as good uh, as past, but still pretty good. And I've got everything wonderfully set up as it is. I found someone else's uh, list, or this was already pre-made because, oh my gosh. Um, I was originally planning to do this myself. There are so many shows this season. <laughs> There are so many shows this season. And so effectively what I'm going to do, everything that's had a first show, I'm just going to rate how that intro to the anime was. Uh, was it exciting? Did it offer something different? Uh, was it just clean and pretty? Was it cute? Was it fun? All those fun things. Uh, there are some shows that I can't watch before they are like season three and twos of things that I did not watch in the past. So we can skip those entirely. Uh, as well as some that I'm probably just not going. It is what it is. But for the most part, I've watched an insane amount of TV this week. So we've got our categories. S, A, B, C, D. I think we're going to keep all those as it is. We're going to add drop. That means I've already decided that I'm going to drop that show. I will not continue with it. I uh, haven't watched. Simple as. And finally, I had a third category for this. Um, hasn't aired yet. Shows that are not out currently. But we've got, we've got a ton to go through. So we're just going to start. We're just going to start. Here's how I felt about things that were happening. Uh, starting with, I was reincarnated as the seventh prince so I could take my time perfecting my magical ability. Um, I went into this kind of thinking what everyone else is thinking. That it was just going to be another reincarnated as guy bullshit, whatever. Surprisingly good first episode. Surprisingly good. I don't know if it has the staying power to really keep pushing. Um, but we've got a tiny little masochistic magic lover who uh, will literally let a spell eat his finger and then lick the blood off of it just to truly understand the power a spell has and so he can learn it himself. It was truly one of the most things I'd witnessed. Uh, left a really good impression. Again, I don't know how good the show is going to continue from there, but I loved what I saw at the start. Uh, over here, we've got studio apartment, good lighting, angel included. Uh, I don't know what to make of this one. It's a little slice of life, there's a bit of etchy to it. Uh, effectively, an angel has come down to earth and fallen asleep on our protagonist's balcony. Uh, and he takes her in to live with him and learn about you. Um, it was cute. The, the first episode was actually cute and pretty funny. It was a solid B first episode. I'm probably going to drop this in like a week. Uh, it's fine. It's cute girls. They're cute and they do stuff. There's really not much else to it. Uh, three, we got an Archdemon's Dilemma. How to love your elf bride. It was, it was okay. I could see it doing either really well or collapsing. Uh, effectively, the guy falls in love with an elf that's uh, being sold as a slave in an auction. So he buys her. Now he's broke and she lives with him in his castle. He is also a... I don't even remember the term. Spellcaster, alchemist, mage, one of those. Uh, who is hated and revered, or not revered, and everyone's scared of him throughout the lands, and he's trying to make this elf his bride and give her a good life. It's fine. There's nothing really special about it. Uh, they're kind of cute. 
it was okay. Uh, number four, I as a reincarnated aristocrat, I'll use my appraisal skill to rise in the world. Once again, we are here. However, I was actually pretty impressed with this one. Uh, it has potential to do some very, very cool things. Effectively, Guy is reincarnated. He is uh, next in line for the throne in the little kingdom that he has. Uh, however, the only skill that he has is to judge the abilities of other people. So no real combat abilities himself. Uh, but I think that actually lays a really cool foundation and possibilities of what a show can do. If it goes way more into the, uh, the building an army, diplomacy, strategic element of war and, and running a kingdom, I think that could be very cool. It has a chance to fall in the, into the same slop as every other isekai that you're going to find, every other power fantasy isekai. However, I, it doesn't look like it's going to, so I'm I'm excited about it. A good first episode. Who knows? Number five, we got Astro Note. This I thought nothing of when I saw the trailer. I thought it was going to be uh, just silly and quirky and cute. Um, I didn't even really fully grasp what was happening in the trailer. There's a lodge. It's a live-in lodge. They need a cook in the morning. So a new guy shows up to be the cook and live there as well. It starts off with really quirky characters that are super fun, uh, all very distinct. I, I genuinely don't hate any of them. <laughs> They're all really super fun characters. And the, the art style is, it's a blend of retro and new. I really, really liked it. But the ending of it, and I won't spoil it, threw me so far out for a f***ing loop. Uh, I did not see it coming. I have no idea where this show is going to go now, but I am hooked. I'm hooked. I need to know. I need to see more. I'm just going to turn this down a bit. Uh, next, we got Bartender. Bartender was very good. A very simple anime. There's a hotel that opened. They have, want to have a private lounge that has a bartender that can serve the glass of God. And our two uh, two female leads are searching around trying to find a bartender that can do exactly this until they summon into this bar and find this guy. It is a very vibrant, brilliant scene when they find him where he explains his reasoning for why he makes the drinks that he makes. It's comforting. It makes me thirsty. I want to drink while I watch it very good first episode i'll be watching that all season for the coziness of it a condition called love this was fine it could be romance of the year it could also not be uh condition called love it starts cute and i want it to go very well the guy creeps me out he creeps me out just a little too much um he tries to do the the barrage with love. He tries to love bomb uh, and does ridiculous things, entirely forgetting the world exists to do things for one person. Uh, to the extent that he's willing to change who he is as a human on, uh, the, on a whim, just because he hears that it's something that she might like. There's little things I don't like about that. Uh, it's very concerning for our, our main, our lead here. But it was fine. It was it was good enough that I'm going to keep checking it out. But he as a character is concerning. So we'll see. We'll keep it at B. Sound Euphonium Season 3. Never watched it. Actually, I was meaning to watch it. I was going to catch up in time uh, for Season 3 to come out so I can start watching along. I learned there's like, there's two seasons, but there's like six movies. And there's an order you have to watch them all for it to make sense. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. That's so much watching. That's so much watching for one show. 16, Girls Band Cry. We're going to throw that right up in the ass. We're going to throw that right up in the ass. No, I want it first. This was awesome. This was awesome. Uh, firstly, the music slaps. The music is so, 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 so very good. Um... Secondly, we only met two of the characters really so far, and I love them both. 
I was everyone was thrown off originally with the trailer. It was it was it's all CG animation. However, it's so fluid and so expressive. Uh, the exact reason for using CG for character models is to do this. It was so smooth. It was so crisp. The story was excellent. The characters are cute. The songs are great. Uh, yeah, this is a must watch. Absolute must watch so far. God's games we play. Uh, this was fun. This was fine. I was expecting it to be a lot worse. I'll be brutally honest. I was expecting it to be awful. Uh, I came in. They played a fun little card game. Played mind games with each other for a bit. And now they're going off to face the gods, I think, was the goal. We'll see how it goes. It was a nice first episode. I think it's probably one of those I'll drop like four in. We'll see what happens from there, but a decent first. Um, What is this? Grandpa and Grandma turn young again. I'm going to get a little device with this because I'm dropping this. I watched the first episode. The first five minutes were funny. Right? Grandpa and Grandma got young. Uh, they're now able to do a whole bunch of things. But then there was a 10 minute straight stretch of just weird incest jokes where like the granddaughter was talking about wanting to get with the grandpa now. And so is the mom. That's not for me. That's not for me. Uh, the characters are fun, but yeah, <laughs> I, I can't. I can probably look past one or two jokes uh, here and there. It looks like that's going to be the main joke. Um, and yeah, that's not my thing. So I'm probably I'm probably done with that one. Some people might love it. It was funny, but those moments, I, I can't do it. I can't. Uh, we got High Speed Etoile. I'm also dropping it. This again, uh, using CG animation for the character models and all the racing. Uh, it once again looks like it's going to be a setup for a gacha game. But it just wasn't exciting. I didn't quite know what was happening at the end of the first episode. I was watching a race. Uh, these two, King won and Queen came second. Uh, and then some dude retired. And then we were looking at completely different people that I'd never met before for the end of the episode. So I have no, I had no fucking idea what was happening. Uh, and it just wasn't visually that appealing. So I'm, yeah, I'm probably not going to keep that one around. Jellyfish can't swim in the night. We're just going to, we're just going to scroll on up here and put that in an S. Uh, such a beautiful first episode. Visually the, the colors are rich and bold. Uh, the two characters that we know of and two and a half uh, are super, super cool. Uh, very different, very unique individuals. I think this is going to be a mainstay for this season. Uh, I was excited about it beforehand. I'm super happy I met my expectations. I am stoked on this one. Next, we've got... Uh, I don't need to look at my list. I know this is Mashoka Tensei. Uh, it's back. Mashoka Tensei is back. And I love Mashoka Tensei. Uh, no, we're going to put that at the top. I love Mashoka Tensei. He's getting married to Sophie. I'm very happy about that. <clears throat> and we just keep riding. There's not mean, mean. If you watch the show and you're still watching the show, you know what you're getting. That's exactly what you're getting. And more of it. And it's back. And I'm stoked. Laid Back Camp Season 3. Now this one, once again, it's we're back. We're back, and it's cute girls doing cute stuff, going camping and doing stuff. If you, if you love the show, you're getting what you love. It's more of it. It was a good first episode. I'm stoked to be back. This one, actually, when I was talking about uh, sound euphonium, or sound euphonium, however you call it, when I was talking about that and how I wanted to watch through an in the entire series to catch up for the start of this, I did that with Laid Back Camp. I watched the first two in the movie all last week because <laughs> people kept talking about it and then I got excited, so I did, and I'm very happy I did because I love that show. Uh, Sentai Daishikaku, or Go-Go Loner Ranger. 
This one I almost didn't find because it's on Disney. I was excited for it, but I didn't know where to find it. It wasn't on Crunchyroll. It wasn't anywhere there. I wasn't Crunchyroll or High Dive or wherever. It's Disney. It's on Disney. This was fun. It wasn't... I was expecting a little bit more. I think we're going to get there with more. But it was, it was a really fun, unique concept. Again, well, not unique. I think we're going the route of what if X was bad? So in this case, what if the Power Rangers were evil? Um, I think we're going down that route. More of a boy's take or the boy's take on things. With your evil organization fighting back against them. Or at least one character of them. But it was a cool first episode. It was really fun. It set up the world really well so you know exactly what the stakes are. What's happening. Uh, who the main players are. Uh, and I'm, yeah, I'm stoked for the rest of it. Re-Monster. Uh, this was pretty good. If I'm, It was way above God's Game of Life. Yeah, let's put that up there. Uh, it was pretty good. It wasn't exceptional. Uh, it brought the, the world in really nice. We know the characters that matter. We know the kind of progression system we're going for here. I don't know how many isekais I can keep on the list every year. But, I mean... It was pretty good. I see this was a good first episode in setting up what's possible. Uh, and that kind of excites me. What's what's to come is more exciting than what that episode offered. So I'm hoping for more. I'm going to keep watching it. But it was, it was just pretty good. It was just pretty good. A salad bowl of eccentrics. Hear me out. Hear me out. This was one of the most fun first episodes I've seen in ages. It is a princess and her knight get teleported into modern Japan uh, separately, so they haven't found each other, but they've kept all their powers. Uh, our princess meets up with a private detective and has started staying with him and helping at his detective agency. It is ridiculous. It is silly. It is super fun. The animation is cool. Uh, the characters are excellent. I laughed a lot. I laughed a ton. Uh, I think it's going to be a must watch. I think it's going to be a niche much wa must watch, but I fucking, I fucking loved it. So here's hoping. Uh, that time I got reincarnated as a slime season three. Yeah, we're back. Once again, as with uh, Mashoka Tensei, as with Laid Back Camp, Rimuru is back. You know what you're getting. Uh, it's fun. It's exciting. Diablo's up to some shit. They're overthrowing a government. Uh, one thing I've always loved about slime over other isekais and other fantasies, uh, they focus very heavily on the political systems of the world and how it runs. Uh, and I think they've done a really good job of blending action in with that. I'm a big fan of reincarnated as a slime. I think it rules. Uh, so yeah, it's back. It was a great first episode. Nothing, nothing mind blowing, but we're setting up for a season. We know what's coming. We're all good. Spice and Wolf. Spice and Wolf, absolutely S tier. Uh, I, full disclosure, did not watch the original. I don't know what the entire show is about. Well, I know what the show's about on the whole. Uh, but I don't know all the important beats through it. What I did love, and from what I read. Uh, from other people that had, had reacted to it and had responded online. I like that the story seems to start with the older her and her daughter retelling the story. So it's not just uh, a recreation that starts exactly when the original did, but more of a, a, a storyteller's retelling of the same story, which is really cute. And it's a nice, simple way to get back into it. Uh, it was beautiful. Uh, I'm so excited for what could happen next, but I'm hooked. I'm in. Everyone says this show's the best. Uh, I can't wait. So here's where the English and the rest of me get split up. It says the fable. They keep pronouncing them fable. So I'm going to say the fable and assume that's correct. And this was fine. It was fine. I was expecting more. It looked like a lot of fun. It might get better. Uh, it might get a lot better. But for a first episode, 
Didn't really do much. It was a whole bunch of setup, uh, which is fine. I'm totally cool with setup. It didn't disinterest me in the show. Uh, it made me excited for what's possible, what's coming next. But as it stands, as a first episode, it wasn't as gripping as it could be. Uh, you're noticing we don't have a ton of Ds. I should probably explain how I rank things. Because uh, there's a lot of people that look at mid as bad. Mid is not bad. A mid episode is mid. A B is mid. A low B, a high C is mid. D is bad. <laughs> we're, we're just dropping, right? Uh, so to, for any confusion, because some people look at these two and go, these are the only two that matters. No, these are fine. And then these left something to be desired, and this is bad. Nothing has been bad yet. I haven't watched it. This might be bad. Who's to say? Oh, sorry. Uh, this was bad. But uh, it's in the drops here because I'm not f***ing watching it. <laughs> I'm not watching another one. Absolutely not. All right, where are we? Uh, Tanari no Yokai-san. Once again, we're coming up in the S on this one. I think this is, it's not the last S we have, but this, these six so far blew my mind. Uh, and this is, this was no exception. It looks really interesting to start. Uh, but what I love most was the craziest shit you'll see just in the background of this show. Like, a, a giant translucent being just kind of walking through the background, and they're like, oh, Greg! Uh, like, it means nothing to them. So they really they did a really good job on the first episode world-building that piece, and what happens with everyone, and why there are gods living among the Earth, and what the... And, and different spirits and different beings. I really love that. What made me laugh the hardest, though, and what really got me hooked on this, was, I, I don't know if you can see in this top right corner here. It might be a little too small. But during the intro credits, they were going through, and there's a bird guy, and there's a cat guy, and there's a fox guy. And that dude in the top right is a Volkswagen Beetle. <laughs> His head is just a car. And we haven't met him in the show, but I will not drop this show until I do. It, it's it's quirky it's fun it's very cute it's very silly uh i had a blast with it i think it's gonna be great i can't wait for more uh yeah definitely check that one definitely check that one next oi tombo uh oi tombo was cool it was probably i don't know how long i'm gonna keep with it but i love the story of a guy going to an island that no one really lives on and hasn't forever or no one knew he's come to the island forever. He's clearly a former pro golfer, thinking he's going to move out to the sticks to live a new life. Clearly something's happened in the past. And he founds out, finds out the island has built their own little golf course within the wild terrain. And he meets a girl uh, that seems exceptional at the sport. It was really cute. I really like the animation. I really like Tombo as a character, there's nothing stopping the optimism of this character. Absolutely nothing stops the optimism of this character. Super fun, super cute. It might be great. Um, there wasn't as much to grip me into the next episode. It looks like it's going to be a lot of a lot of that. So uh, I might keep, I might drop. I'm definitely in for at least another week. But we'll see how it goes. Train to the end of the world. I'm not dropping it, but I was so disappointed. I think it's, I think there's a chance it can be a great show, but that first episode was a mess. They threw every bit of dialogue humanly possible at you to try and explain what's happening in the world with all the characters, why they're going on this adventure. They tried to cram it all in the first 22 minutes so everyone's talking to each other like that. They're just, it, there's no breaths to be taken and you're kind of just 
sitting there taking it all and getting overwhelmed with the information that's hitting you. There's clearly some very cool world building here. Uh, I think it's going to get incredibly creepy. I think it's going to get incredibly dark. Uh, I'm excited for what can happen. But again, this is strictly a ranking on the first episodes, and that was a mess. Uh, I'm hoping for better. I'm very excited for it, so I'm hoping for better. My hope is that now that we've gotten all that out of the way, we can just move forward, and everything will be... It, it just needs a, a moment to breathe. Vampire Dormitory. It was bad. I'm not going to drop it, but it wasn't good. It's, uh, it's firstly queer baiting. Um... It's a girl dressing as a boy who uh, has a vampire take her in. Looking like a boy, thinking it's a boy. Wants to make that boy his thrall. It's a girl. Um, if it was a pure yaoi story, I think, I'd have, I think I would have rated it higher. But the fun reveal at the end of the first episode that, that is not a boy. Uh... And so, I don't know what's going to happen here. But it wasn't great. It's just pretty people looking pretty. I'm going to give it another episode, but it wasn't good. It wasn't great. Windbreaker. Might be one of my favorite first episodes for what you're expecting out of a show. It is a delinquent battle anime. And what I was expecting was a bunch of delinquents to beat the shit out of each other. Well, not only did I get exactly that, I got some of the best animated delinquents beating the shit out of each other. The fight scene in the middle of the street uh, with all, firstly with him solo, our main character solo, and then when the rest of the students of the academy show up and it starts a brawl, mm, it was so good. It was so clean. Uh, and I really like the twist they're doing on this where uh, this town is a disaster for delinquents. Everyone is out causing problems at all times, but there is one section of this town that is under the protection of the students of this academy. And so they are looked at as the heroes in this situation. They are the heroes of this area of, of the town, uh, which adds a nice, a nice little bit of flavor to my battling. I'm excited for it. The first episode ruled. I'm hoping for more. I'm hoping for it just keeps going. And finally, Mission, Yozakura Family. This was great. This was great. I thought it was a ton of fun. Uh, characters are cool. I really love the family. They're all very different, very quirky, very fun. Uh, I like our main character. I like what drives them. I like our... Uh, our, our main girl. I like best girl. She's cute. She's strong. She does a whole bunch of shit. Uh, I think we're going to see some goofy stuff. I think we're going to see some great action. I think we're going to see some murder. Uh, it was a great introduction to the world. Great introduction to the family. I think it's going to be a great, uh, just a good show. I think it's just going to be a good one. I don't see me dropping this anytime soon. And really, that's how it's turned out so far. A lot of good first episodes and a few bad ones, and some just stylistic choices that aren't mine, might be others. But that's, this is how I've seen it. This is how I've seen it so far. Put it in perspective, I've watched so much fucking show, so many shows this week. <laughs> I've watched so much. And I plan to watch more. So we'll be back. I don't know if I'm going to do this every week. I don't know if it's going to be like next week off, and then I'll check in on week three and see where I sit with everything. That's probably what I'll do instead. But yeah, this is where we're at. I think it's fun. I think it's gonna be a good season. I'm excited for what we're gonna get. Let me know, let me know what everyone else is watching. That's what I kinda wanna know. If you're watching this VOD or if you're watching this as a video that I probably will make, because this format works better as a video. Let me know what you think. All those things. I notice how short and cropped I am. <laughs> that I've been doing a bunch of hand actions. You can't see them. But whatever, we've got a game to play.